Samaritans in Pocosin found a missing wallet, and they're now doing their part to return it to its rightful owner. And get this, the owner figured it was long gone, but a sharp eye saved it from being discarded for good. News 3 reporter Kofal Asaki explains why a Connecticut woman is thanking the local school district. Two, one. All right. A $19 million renovation of Pocosin Middle School unearthed something priceless. As walls started coming down, a piece of history saw the light of day for the first time in around 70 years. There's a calendar from 1951, some wonderful stamps of Santa Claus from 1951. There's two pictures of people that were important to her. A contractor recently discovered this wallet that's been lost in the ductwork since the early 1950s when Pocosin Middle School was still Pocosin High School. It says, Dear God, protect my Jimmy in his Navy uniform. A small newspaper clipping asked God to protect all the Navy men during the Korean War. Some things have held up better than others, but the wallet is mostly intact, holding on to stories long forgotten. She remembers playing basketball in the gym, put her wallet down, and then it was lost forever. That is until now. There was a, a ledge there that I had laid my wallet on, and when I went to get it, it wasn't there, but there was a hole uh, opening behind that ledge, and so my wallet had, had fallen down. As luck would have it, a little blue book with names and addresses helped the district track Esther French down 500 miles away in Beacon Falls, Connecticut. Well, it was absolutely shocking when I learned about it. So, just very surprising, but interesting. She figured she lost it when she was 16 or 17. Now, at 85, she's looking forward to flipping through the pages of the past. In Pocosin, Kofo Lasaki, News 3.